everyone and welcome back to another edition of Let's Football Live. It's actually our fourth episode of uh, Let's Football Live. I'll just wait for all of you to, to come on. Now we've had uh, some special guests along the way since we started this uh, brand new series in this lockdown period. In the first episode we had Sandesh Jingan and the second one we had Eric Potlu all the way from Sydney and uh, in the third one we had Elko Shatori from Oman. So we've had a fair few people from a fair distance away as well. Hello to everyone. Aslu, Mr. Venom, I love your name. Mr. Fahi, Devil V3 Manik, by the way, thank you so much uh, for all your questions that have been coming in uh, early doors as well. You know exactly who's coming on the show. If you don't, I'll tell you in just a moment. So we're in the fourth week of uh, lockdown now. Uh, I hope all of you guys are staying home and uh, staying safe. And speaking of the number four, uh, we've got somebody joining us today who's uh, played four seasons of the Hero Indian Super League, starting from 2016 when he was in the Kerala Blasters squad that made it all the way to the final. Uh, he's somebody who picked up four assists as an Indian for Jamshedpur FC playing in the season 2019-20. Somebody who also picked up four Hero of the Match awards. Not very often that you see an Indian doing that. I'm going to waste no more time and I'm going to get straight into it. Let me welcome on this fourth episode of Let's Football Live none other than Farooq Chaudhary. So I'm going to try and get him on straight away. Just waiting to see if Mr. Farooq Chaudhary is online. Come on. Thank you so much, all of you, for joining us. Bang on at 5 p.m. Love your punctuality, by the way. Just the way I love Farooq Chaudhary's punctuality. Farooq, love your hair and love the fact that you've given us your time. I'm trying to match your hairstyle, by the way. <laughs> I was trying to match your hairstyle. I've seen your uh, <laughs> previous episodes, and I, I, I tried making sure that I at least set my hair properly, so I can look up better than you. Try to look better than you. Uh, that's very kind of you, Farooq. See that this is what happens. You know, when you have a when you have a lockdown on, you can you can do so much with your hair, and you can do so much with your time as well. Apart from doing the dishes and uh, the household chores, uh, <laughs> what have you been doing in this lockdown? So, I would say pretty much more of workout, you know, trying to keep myself fit and uh, other than that, you know, trying to do some housework, cleaning the house and, and sometimes trying to make uh, new dishes, you know, to eat. I tried pancakes, some different kind of pancakes and then some, uh, what do you say, uh, veg kebabs and chicken kebabs trying to make it a little different and helping out my family and nothing else and uh, keeping football alive here trying to play with the ball every now and then I'm getting so bored trust me it's very boring <laughs> nowadays but uh, the important thing is that we stay at home and keep ourselves safe and others too I hope your lockdown is going pretty good as well yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm getting to do this with all you guys. So it's been actually pretty uh, entertaining and with uh, an Indian player. So it's nice to have another Indian uh, on, on this episode of uh, Let's Football. But thank you so much. I'm guessing you're in Mumbai as we speak. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And, and that's, that's actually a good way to start as well. Because uh, yeah, I know you live, in, you, you live in Mumbai. So uh, the, the first question that came in was actually from somebody who goes by the handle of the stadium YT. And uh, he said, how does he, as in Farooq Chaudhary, prepare himself mentally before a game? Which, which will give me the opportunity to actually ask you about the journey that you've had, Farooq, because you said you're in Mumbai and it, it didn't start exactly to plan because you were somebody who was into, in, into distance running and then played as a centre-back, then eventually turned into a striker, then turned down by Mumbai FC, and then eventually getting to play in the same colours, and then Kerala and Jamshedpur. Take us through your journey and how you prepare to be the footballer that you are, Farooq. So, yeah, I'll start with my school days. So, I wanted to participate uh, in marathon, and I gave my name in the school after I finished my fifth standard uh, in the summer vacation. But unfortunately they didn't call me or I don't know what exactly happened that day but uh, then when we uh, when the marathon got over I came to know the marathon is over now and I was like they didn't call me and I wanted to be a part of it and I have been training for that you know uh, since I think when I was seven years old from that time my father has behind as he has always been behind me every morning 
uh, I have to wake up. Me and my sister both. We used to wake up early morning, and he used to make sure that we run at least. You know, like we had a ground in front of our house for 20 rounds or 25 rounds. So he made sure that we did that every day. Uh, doesn't matter if we cry or you know whatever. <laughs> no excuses. He made sure that we uh, did this every day. So after that, there was only one sport left in the school. So I asked my father that uh, there's only football left now. So can I give my name there, and I want to be a part of something in the school. So he said, yeah, yeah, that that's not an issue. You can. So I gave my name, and I started playing for the inter house uh, tournament, which was in the sum, summer vacations itself. And uh, uh, luckily, uh, the house I was representing, we won that tournament, and I scored, I think, three four goals. But I was uh, playing as a, as a central defender. so playing as a central defender and scoring goals i think my coach uh, he saw that i had an ability to score goals so he told me uh, yeah. that i am going to take you in the under 12 school team and i want you to play as a striker so from that day my position changed and from that day onwards i have become a striker and from then from the school days played for the school team school matches then the district tournament and then the state tournament and from there after my school got over i played uh, for the state level when i was in college and uh, yeah. from there uh, representing maharashtra uh, in pune where pune fc used to train so there uh, i think it was a very great chance for us to showcase our talents there because that tournament uh musa sir naushad musa and yeah. uh, he was the coach of uh, pune fc academy and uh, ranjan choudhury sir ranjan choudhury he was the technical director of uh, pune fc so they both yeah. had come there to scout players and uh, luckily again i scored a goal in that match and they selected me and they uh, i think they asked our manager to get the contact number and everything and they told me they called me after the tournament and they told me that uh, uh, we have scouted you and we want you to come for uh, the trials in pune after this tournament yeah. so uh, i was very happy to know that you know this was my first professional thing and uh, first professional academy before that uh, as you know i forgot to mention about mumbai fc i had gone there for under 15 and uh for i think i went there for trials for like 3 or 4 months and uh, i was in the squad of 26 players but just before the tournament they had to take 20 players and uh, yeah. i was cut out out of out of the list and i didn't make it there so yeah there was a bit of uh, sadness you know i was very uh sad that i couldn't make it i worked so hard for it but then uh, the manager told me who was the manager of uh, mumbai fc and yeah. i came to know that the manager who <laughs> who is in jamshedpur fc right now he is the same guy who was there in mumbai fc i didn't yeah. know until this year and he told me that i was that guy who told you that no worries you are uh, you know very young and you have a lot of time now to grow so yeah. take this uh, thing as an opportunity to grow and go back home train hard and make sure you come next year again but i think after that directly uh, i joined pune fc and there uh, yeah. at the trials i did i did good in the i think there was there was a week of trials and there were many players from different states and uh, i made it there uh, uh, in the main team and one year i was with pune fc in the pune fc academy where i got to learn so much i didn't know how a professional player has to be you know to train well yeah. to rest well and also about studies they they made sure that we studied every day for one hour yeah you know whatever subject we wanted to and uh, yeah. so i think that has helped me a lot to grow in terms of professionalism and then after that from there uh, didn't have any team because pune fc shut down as everyone knows so we were sitting at home me and my teammates from pune fc and suddenly one day we got a we got a call from uh, naushad musa sir and he told us that uh, 
there's a team in second division i league lone star kashmir fc yeah. in kashmir so they want a uh, few players and uh, i have recommended your name and two others from the academy itself to go there because now you all don't have any other option in front of you so because yeah. we had just finished our academy and the senior team was shut down so we decided to go there in kashmir played there one year uh, and uh, we qualified there also you know for the final rounds in the second division i league so uh, it was a bit difficult to live there you know because we are not used to live around uh, military people you know when you go out in kashmir every 10 yards you can see a cop there but it's for our safety only i know that but uh, it was a different yeah. different experience altogether but the people there are very warm and i just loved it there uh, but to play in second division you know how things work it's not so professional as isl so got to learn many things we had to cook on our own you know <laughs> sometimes yeah. we used to eat uncooked food and all those things but then after that uh, i go, i got a break through uh, directly to the yeah. isl to kerala blasters and from there it all started yeah that yeah we're going to touch upon that uh, isl that isl journey farooq thank you so much for taking us through this because it's been you know it it's a battle of attrition this this entire journey as well you know right from those uh, four hour long journeys those 50 60 km long journeys with your father that you you used to take oh, um, yeah. you know all, all the way from ambarnath and then going as a starting as a goal scoring center back which reminds me tiri is also joined us or he did join us on the instagram live you know, nothing wrong with center back scoring goals Susaraj yeah. Michael is also on the Instagram he's he's complimented you on your hairstyle I think that's a cheeky dig at my hairstyle more than yours uh but yeah just carrying on I mean Lone Star Kashmir being the lone striker there like you said and then going on to you know finding a place in the Hero Indian Super League Kerala Blasters side it's been uh, it's been something else but you know because of the kind of journey you've had Farooq and it's not come easy you know there have been rejections along the way you the second division uh you know you started for mumbai district football uh, uh, association's elite division to now you know playing in the national team kunal gautam had a message what will your message be to all the kids who are aspiring to play in india let's just take this up uh, first up from you because you've had such a great journey yeah uh, so i would like to give a message that uh, no matter whatever happens uh, make sure that you believe in yourself because uh, there there will be a time where no one will believe in you that's the time where you yeah. have to believe in yourself and keep going no matter what it might take one month it might take one year it might take five years but uh, if there's consistent hard work and uh, determination you will make it and you certainly did farooq that's a great message to everybody watching i'm sure but you spoke about you know kerala blasters and that is the kerala blasters side that made it all the way to the final and the final was uh, played in kochi uh, steve coppel was the coach that time and you had some big figures in in the dressing room as well not in the least aaron hughes who was also the center back and uh, captain sandeep jingan was alongside you what was that experience like you was not you were not getting regular game time farooq but you had the dressing room with a side that went all the way to the final Yes so firstly i want to thank uh, the coach the manager steve coppel because he has shown so much of trust in me and uh, he has a huge part of you know huge part to play in my career because uh, i've learned a lot from him not only him and as you mentioned about kerala blasters and other players being there with me so as soon as i joined the team i was i was so scared for the first meeting when the coach you know messaged in the whatsapp group and he said that uh, today there's a meeting and every all the players have to come there and i was like okay now it's going to be very scary you know i still remember those days and uh, so the first interaction between all the foreign players and uh, obviously sandeep singh and sandeep bhai and all the other senior players it was i was so shy and i couldn't talk anything i was just like watching them you know how how they're walking how they're coming here how they're talking and all those things but later on when yeah. and they are so good you know they help the youngsters they help me a lot and to make me comfortable obviously and after that to be there with them on the pitch and off the pitch 
you get to learn so many things and especially i would like to talk about aaron sir and i call him sir because i respect him a lot <laughs> and uh, yeah, we all do <laughs> yes 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 so he always tells me please don't call me sir i was your team mate like no no you are you are so for me and um, <laughs> so the, the meaning of professionalism i have learned from him the way he used to prepare before the training uh, after the yeah. training to take care of himself the recovery he used to do after the training after each training session because uh, uh because i think we used to play matches every 3 days or 4 days and recovery was so important for players like yeah. them who used to play every game you know for us we we were always ready to get you know to get a chance and to do something for the team but they used to play every game and there i came to know how important recovery is and uh, and on the pitch how they communicate how they motivate and how how team work is done actually you know if we just talk about it but in the pitch it's completely different and uh, to experience all that in the first year was something else and uh, yeah. and to be with all these players that time i remember cedric uh, josu and uh, sandesh bhai and ck bhai and reno bhai and all these senior players uh i'm yeah. so thankful to them that i've learned a lot from them and uh, yes it has helped me a lot to grow and i remember that my iss season we made it to the finals doesn't matter if i played only two games but yes uh, till today whenever we uh, interact on whatsapp or anywhere so it makes us happy you know that season was a great thing to remember but unfortunately obviously we didn't win the final so it was a great journey that season fantastic by the way your roommate karan has just said hello to you darren caldera has also shown hearts in his eyes which means he's uh, quite happy to see you on this uh, instagram live he's saying looking good parok uh, that's a good sign <laughs> memo you, mora has been memo memo mora has also been commenting and uh, he's telling he's saying how much he misses you by the way oh i miss you too memo <laughs> <laughs> uh karan also asked you who's your best roommate i think you only had one in jamshedpur so you can possibly take his name right now <laughs> yeah i can see the answer in his question he saying karan is your best roommate <laughs> fantastic uh that takes me nicely to uh, the the question from i think it's nay goals n e y g o a l double z who said who's your favorite footballer particularly a foreigner if you were to name one and you can you can mention memo because he's been sending you so many red hearts if you want to oh in isl you mean isl or Yeah, but yeah, in the hero ISL, who's been your favorite foreigner or your favorite footballer? Favorite footballer? It's a very difficult question. You know. Uh, I, I know you're going to lose some guys. friends along the way. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but I won't. They know me, so I would, I would say uh, two names: Terry and Memo, because uh, we have been together since three years, and uh, uh, we, other than football, we are like a family now, and it's a very good friendship among us. So we have other plans also that I'll be visiting their house in Spain and Brazil. Hope after this virus gets done. So yeah, these two guys. Yeah, certainly big pillars of strength as well uh, for Jamshedpur. And Memo scored some great goals, by the way. I, I can never, never forget that. But just sure. the, which takes us to you know to Jamshedpur, Farooq, because uh, you know despite the the you know the experience that you had, you getting enough. Um, enough game time which is something that you'd want to do as a footballer regularly and then came you know the player draft this the second ever in the hero indian super league and then jamshedpur picked you up and i think it took a while i think you were the 11th what was it like sitting at home watching the draft with your family or i don't know who you were with but just talk us through the reactions over there when you hadn't been picked up and when you eventually got picked up farooq by jamshedpur yeah it was a very difficult time for me to watch that draft because it was a first time experience you know i have i have i had seen that how it works but i never thought that how it would make you feel when you yourself are there inside it so i was very tensed that when i am going to get selected and i didn't know that where i'll land up in the in the end you know which team i didn't know so i had a little hope because steve coppel was there in jamshedpur and obviously i have uh, been with him in kerala but other than that i i was expecting to be honest with you i was expecting only two teams one was jamshedpur 
and the other one was pune because i was from pune fc academy and i think uh, yeah. uh, the management would be same so maybe they are uh, tracking the academy players and luckily i get to go in that thing you know that way but uh, yeah. uh, it was i was very tensed to be honest and i was worried and i was like what is going to happen but luckily in the 11th round uh, i got picked by my coach Steve Koppel and uh, I was so happy and so relieved, you know, that thank God I have a team now. I won't be sitting at home or going somewhere else. I have a team now, and uh, obviously knowing the history of Jamshedpur, so I was very happy that I was selected for that team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I can see a few red miners have also uh, joined the conversation. You know, the the fans over there, and it's some atmosphere at the furnace. I mean, every time we are covering a game which involves uh, Jamshedpur, you talk about Kochi, you talk about Goa, you talk about Northeast, the strongholds, Kolkata, of course. But the furnace can produce uh, a really special atmosphere, which sort of tells us why the home record has been so good uh, for Jamshedpur in the in the recent past. But you mentioned Steve Koppel, Farooq. Um, what was your you know what was your experience? Playing uh, under Steve Koppel, uh, first of course at Kerala when you were not getting enough game time, and then at Jamshedpur when you started getting more regular game time. So yeah, uh, in the beginning, you know, uh, we are young players, and when I started, I didn't get to play many matches, which yeah. where we lack uh, match experience. So that was the time when I used to make a lot of mistakes, and uh, coach used to. Uh, always tell me that uh, this is the this is the time obviously to make mistakes but the important thing is that you learn from those mistakes don't repeat the same mistakes make new mistakes you know all those things so along with steve coppel uh, the assistant coach uh, wally yeah he was there and uh, he was always there to correct our mistakes so sometimes he used to scream like oh, what are you doing Are you doing the same mistake again and again? So I think all those things have helped a lot to not make silly mistakes, which we call you know basic mistakes, to get composure and uh, uh, many other things. And uh, in that, obviously, Steve Koppel has a major role in where he was with me in Kerala Blasters and also yeah. in Jamshedpur and. i'm really thankful for all the chances i got in jamshedpur as well to play uh, it was my second season in isl and i didn't i had only played two games in kerala and after that directly coming to jamshedpur and getting so much of game time i was very happy and i was growing you know uh, yeah. i was trying to improve myself and i am still trying to improve myself but back then it was more of how to stay focused you know mentally and how to prepare uh, prepare before the game how to uh, get ready for the matches how to be ready when there's pressure so all that all, all that all that has helped me a lot so a big thanks yeah. to steve coppel for believing in me believing in me first of all and also for all the chances i got in jamshedpur Yeah, certainly had a lot of success, uh, didn't he, Steve Koppel? And then eventually you found a regular place in the, you know, in the starting eleven, uh, Farooq, for Jamshedpur. Jump to, you know, the 2019-20 season, the the previous uh, season six of the Hero Indian Super League. Uh, I just, you know, not just regular game time. Now you're somebody who who was expected to change games more regularly because by this time now you've already, you know, found a call up in the national team and you started playing in national colours. did that change the way you approached uh, you know the preparation for this season because the you know we had one of those questions from a fan which said how do you prepare yourself mentally before a game what was your preparation going into the last season of the hero isl which made you such a success story particularly in the first half of the season yeah so i would uh, i would like to tell that this thing about preparation before the game it all uh, started when i was called up for the national team last year so uh, getting selected for the national team and playing for the national team i think yeah. it's a huge thing and when you go and play for the national team and come back to your club and play there so i think uh, you are so confident that you have played for your national team you get that confidence and you can 
you can get more prepared you you have to use it and get more prepared for the isl games and i think it helps uh, helps a lot uh, being there in the national team with all the senior players and uh, seeing them prepare before the game how they take care of take care of themselves every day and yeah uh, i think there's nothing like getting prepared before the game it's more about uh, how we prepare every day so that helps us a lot uh, in the games so there's nothing like what we do before the game it's all getting ready mentally whatever the coach tells you the plan we have been working on the whole week for the game so you have to keep all those yeah. things in the mind and after that uh, the only thing that we have to do in the match is that just go and give everything you have that's it i know we we had a few questions as well i'll request the viewers who are watching this to also uh, you know come up with your uh, live questions and uh, you know farooq's going to be with us for a, for a while and we're going to be talking about some of the goal celebration some of the assist that he's provided and your time at the national team including your experience with uh, you know playing alongside sunil chetri and playing under igor stimats but farooq just just quickly before i move forward you had four assists in the season three in the in the first half of the season but somebody asked a question i think pranav 2672 uh, what is the secret behind uh, the yoga like photo pose uh, i'm guessing it's a part of your celebration and is it because you uh, were an athlete before and love yoga please share with us the reason for that celebration that's something i wanted to ask you as well so the celebration talking about the yoga celebration so this year in jamshedpur yeah the yoga pose uh, yeah so this year in jamshedpur the coach made sure that we started yoga and that's how yoga started in jamshedpur this year the whole team yeah. used to practice yoga and uh, so this pose is called the vrikshasan and uh, uh, i think it was it had been a month we started practicing all this so once in the gym memo and i were working out so suddenly we started talking about the goal celebration we wanted to do so we both came to a conclusion and we decided that if memo scores or if i score we are going to do the celebration so there's nothing else other than this it's just because yeah. we both decided and we were you know a part of yoga and we had started doing yoga it has helped us a lot so i thought why not uh it in that way yeah just waiting for the internet to settle but i heard i heard all of that and of course you got a few chances to uh, celebrate as well particularly with uh, sergio castell you you know you had 20 chances that you created in the season farok and uh, a lot of crosses came in the way of sergio uh, castell you mentioned tiri you mentioned josu who's also joined us saying farooq the best you mentioned some of the international players what was the experience of playing alongside uh, uh, sergio castell in particular this season yeah uh, he's a great guy you know off the pitch you won't believe he's so funny well he you laugh so much if you're with him but yes on the on the pitch uh, he makes sure that he works hard for everyone you know not just standing there yeah. out you know holding the ball and fighting for the ball and it's been very easy because i think uh, uh being together you know and pulling around and training together has helped uh, to get that combination so whenever i used to get the ball i know where he is going to make his move so i can put the ball there and whenever he has the ball he knows that where i'm going to move so i think that worked out in the beginning of the season until yeah. he got injured so <laughs> until then we were having a great time on the pitch and off the pitch as well but after that he was uh, seriously injured and it was a difficult phase for him but uh, playing alongside him uh, has helped me to be honest and as you can see i got few assists and also i scored a goal but uh, it could have been better i think if uh, piti and sergio were there for other games also yeah yeah certainly i mean it was a big loss uh, uh, piti going off earlier and then and then sergio castells injury i think it, it all, in a way it changed jamshedpur season in a, in a big way from being contenders for the title to struggling to make to the make it to the playoffs but uh, i've got to talk to you about one particular uh, attempt of yours you said you had one goal this season 
but you could have very nearly had the goal of the season when you had that sick kick and the footage of that went completely viral uh, farooq particularly in the in the indian football circle good pitching sandhu was in goal unfortunately for you because he's he's the he's the number one in india but talk us through what was it, what was in your head when you were going for that kick uh, and uh, you know uh, obviously the reaction that followed from everybody in the indian footballing circle should be on with us any second now farooq welcome back i'm sorry i'm sorry network issue no oh, that's all that's all right there are, there are, there are some power cut issues as well i believe in uh, in mumbai so the the internet is likely yeah. to be a little unstable but uh, don't worry about that farooq did you did you get my question about that bicycle kick and you know how you prepared for it in training perhaps and of course you know the reaction that followed from everybody that we know in the hero isl after that that attempt yeah yeah i heard your question so then then practice a lot to be honest <laughs> because i didn't know that i was going to get that ball it was uh, you know that suddenly i got the ball there and i think nishu was marking me for, from bengaluru and at that moment yeah. i think he left me because of castle and i got the ball right in front of me and i thought why not try a bicycle i tried and it got connected not a, not really a good connection but yes yeah. you know who was in the goal post so it's a bit difficult when he's in the goal post mr gurpreet singh sandhu and it was a very good save to be honest yeah that's, that's very humble of you because of great great attempt as well and uh, a 433 i think covered it if i if i remember correctly i mean apart from a lot of yeah. lot of attention that it got in india so so you know that that tells you how how good an attempt that if that had gone in i remember i think it was andy pascalidis on uh, commentary unfortunately i wasn't there that day uh, but he said something like it would have been the goal of the century or something like that yeah. you remember did you watch highlights <laughs> yes, that yes 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 i did i did because i couldn't believe that i did that and after the match as soon as i reached my room i saw that and i heard the commentary and he was like it could have been the goal of the century i was like oh god <laughs> <laughs> look yeah, you you better get used to compliments like that because now you're playing your trade uh, with the national team but uh, you know you also mentioned uh, the the celebrations that came along with it and we have to touch upon that one moment of controversy that a lot of people have asked about as well some in polite way some in not so polite way as it comes with being an indian football uh, fan hi to aniket jadhav who's joined us as well who said baba war on fire uh Right. So the question that came in was, I think, from uh, Navneet Narayan. No, it wasn't from Navneet Narayan. My bad. It was Vignesh. Ask him about that handball goal celebration against Chennai in FC. Now, can you just claim your innocence now, Farooq, saying you didn't know anything about it, or, <laughs> or, or tell or tell Vignesh Shelby what he wants to hear? <laughs> no, uh, I would say that I didn't know what happened at that moment. that because isaac had the ball and i was so close to isaac and suddenly he took a shot and i didn't know where it got deflected i i thought it was my hand and i don't know what happened exactly at that moment and my brain stopped working at that time and i was like what happened and i couldn't figure <laughs> out what was happening but after all the highlights and it was a handball i would accept that because there's no lying when you go and watch the replay so yes it was a handball and i am sorry for all the chennai fans because i get a lot of messages from these guys and they're like you know you could have uh, done something else you would have told the referee and i'm sorry to all those guys i didn't know at that time and i didn't know what to do at that time i'm so sorry but uh, i think we shared one one point each so it was not a great loss and in the end you made it <laughs> made it uh, to the off so i don't think it was much of a loss for them yeah thank god for that isn't it i mean imagine if that goal was the reason why they didn't make uh, the <laughs> oh, playoff boy. so they made it yeah, yeah. they would be here in mumbai <laughs> no fantastic and see it also hurts because isaac was the one who eventually scored the goal a former chennai player against chennai in fc so you know it's got to sting a little bit more that happened so it wasn't just your handball yeah. i'm sure but uh, nice of you to actually say that uh, you know you you uh, you know you didn't know too much about it but now that you do you wish it wasn't uh, now you know that uh, ironically in that match i think you also got the hero of the match award if i'm yeah 
<laughs> right now, that is obviously for the for the overall overall performance in the game. It's got uh, not just not just because of the goal that went in from uh, Isaac, but you were somebody who got the match awards, Farooq. That is level with two other people in the ISL. For me to ask you trivia, you know who those two other people are? Who you who you're level with in terms of a record for uh, the hero of the match awards this season? Uh, I don't really know, but. Uh... I would guess one would be Roy Krishna. Am I right? No. You're close. You're close. I'm close. Okay. Who else? Dave Williams. That's right. One David oh, Williams. Okay. I'll let you guess this. Yes. Give yeah. me a hint. Which team? The second one. Give me a hint. I really don't know. It's one of the newer teams. Newer team. Who's the newer? Okay. A striker from one of the newer Aridane. teams. Aridane. Aridane. That's right. That's okay, right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I made it a bit easy for you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> no, fantastic. But what an achievement that is, by the way. Four Hero of the Match awards, more than any other Indian in in uh, the season of the Hero ISL, Farooq. That's fantastic by itself, and level with David Williams and Santana. Nobody had five. But how does it make you feel now that you you know you feel more settled in the Hero Indian Super League? Now you're constantly you know, picking up uh, Hero of the Match awards, which obviously means that people are liking your style of play. Yes, obviously, but uh, I would not say it's just only because of me. It's also because of the coach, you know, all the players, you know, around me who are making me better every day. So the credit goes to all of them. And yes, talking about uh, settling in ISL, yes, I feel more confident than before. Because getting so much of game time and playing regularly gives you a lot of confidence. And I just hope that I continue playing consistently and uh, perform better every game. I just hope to do that. Yeah, the humility, the humility continues, which is, which is good. Now, there have been people who have been asking about goal celebrations and all of that. Uh, we've been also running uh, you know, the fans goal of the week. We were in the round of 32 in the previous episode. Uh, and... I'd like to know your thoughts as well because, you know, there have been some great goals that we saw going in in the 2019-20 season. Uh, according to you, which one would be, say, top three, top four for you? You want to, you want to talk us through some of the goals that you, that you liked in particular? You can, you can choose yours as well if you want. No, no, not mine. Not this year. Maybe if it was last year, then I would have chosen mine, you know, that volley. So, not this year, but... Yeah. Uh, I would say the first one, the top one, I think, uh, which uh, Chavez scored from Northeast. The volley he scored directly. That one. The, Ch the Chavez volley, yeah? yeah. Yeah, Chavez volley. Right, for Northeast. This one, yeah. And the uh, second one, I would say, there are many for top one, top two, top three. But uh, for top two, I would say there are two, three. One is Nishu Kumar's goal from that set piece corner and uh, also yeah. uh, also I would say Thapa, Aniru Thapa, the curler which he scored, you know. Against Goa? It was a great goal, yes, it was a great goal and also my friend Vinit Rai. Yeah, which he what a belt over great. strike. Yes, that's right. And maybe top top three, sorry I won't number because they all are my friends. Uh, I would say just that the goals I like and also Rainier's goal against us. Unfortunately, it oh, was right. against us, but yeah, it was a really good goal. See, there are a lot of guys who've been calling you Mumbai Tsa Raja and all of that. Rainier Fernandez also claims to be uh, Dadar Ka Don. You know, he's <laughs> also a Mumbai boy. Yes, you yes. know, there are, <laughs> there are a lot of guys who've been, who've been chiming in about, uh, you know, you being from, you know, Fatima Ka Larka, you know, obviously from your, from, from your, from your time when you were a sprinter back in Fatima school, I think it was, yes, and, yes, uh, yes. you know, going on to the Fabulous journey that you've had. Uh, now, very swiftly moving on to the national team, Farooq. Uh, you know, you got your first call up in the SAF Cup of 2018 uh, under Stephen Constantine. And now you're a regular part of the national uh, team squad. Uh, how does it feel to now, you know, share a dressing room uh, with the likes of Sunil Chetri, Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, Sandesh Jingan? You know, what have they been telling you? How do they, how do they help out younger players like you? Yeah, I would, uh, the first thing I'll tell you, the moment when I got a call for the national team, I was at home alone and I think my family had gone out somewhere 
and i got a call uh, from the assistant coach and he was like uh, hello farooq choudhury you have been called up for the national camp for the saf cup and as soon as i hung up on the call i was so happy i didn't know anything. i was crying and i was so happy that you know it it's like a dream come true to be called up for the national team uh, and uh, i can't express it in words but later on when i joined the saf cup and uh, other uh, friendly games as well where i got to be with uh, sunil chetri sandeep singh and gurpreet bhai and all these senior players so i think uh, these these guys help all the young players a lot you know whenever we are having food or uh, we are just yeah. sitting in the hotel and they would come and they tell you you know how to take care of yourself how to be more professional and uh, how to take care of your rest and uh, how to mentally prepare for the game and obviously give you confidence yeah. that you are doing good every day you know that helps us a lot because all these things coming from senior players like uh, sunil chetri and all these players it's a it's a huge thing for all young players like us so getting that from them it's uh, it boosts us a lot and uh, uh obviously i i don't think there's any other motivation needed when you play for the country when you get to do something for the country you know it's yeah. a great moment for me yeah in particular how, you know how, how's the relationship been with the you know with, with somebody like sunil chetri what is he what has he been telling you you know ever since you got into the national team have you had a, ch- a chance to chat with him and uh, you know has he said something in particular to you that has stayed with you Yes, uh, he's been uh, he's been guiding me a lot since the time I joined the national team, and uh, there are other players also I would uh, like to mention, especially uh, Mr. Anas Eda Thodika. He has always been there since Pune FC, so yeah. he's like a big brother, and he's the one uh, he's he's the only one senior player whom I know from a very long time and has been always there, and has always told me no matter where you reach. make sure that you're humble always so that's the main advice which i got from him and other things i would like to say that sunil bhai every time whenever we are in the camp he would uh, make sure that after the training we are doing some finishing drills you know to improve to work uh, on our finishing and other than that he gives me confidence he tells me that the things you do you are doing really good you know you have to improve this this mistake and that mistake and always helping out and also other than that obviously because he is a senior player so he talks and i listen i don't talk much because it's it's a bit uh, different to be really comfortable with him because he's a senior player but other than that he's always guiding and uh, i think uh, before the kings cup so there was a table where yeah. uh, we used to sit and all these senior players used to sit and after the after our food was over sunil bhai would come and every day he would talk about something new you know it can be anything and he would yeah. uh, give us information about something you know all those things and talk we would sit there for an hour or something like that and talk yeah and yes uh, the relationship is good and uh, with all the senior players and whenever i know that whenever i need something and if i am uh if i have a time where i need any one of them so i know they will be there so it's it's really good to have uh, such great professional footballers to be at your side yeah and, and there are often these uh, you know uh, by, by the way hi hi yusuf who's been who's been messaging and uh, nasif as well who's mentioned anas at atorika because you know kerala fans once again Yeah. uh joining us as always uh i there are a lot of times that people ask the question and i and i'd like to ask this to the viewers who are joining us as well who is the next chetri i i don't know if sunil chetri enjoys uh, being asked that often because he want to play for as long as possible uh but there have been you know there have been times when you've been mentioned as the next chetri how do you respond to you know uh, you know these kind of questions when when people ask you and what do you see your role going forward with the national team Yeah, uh, I didn't know that people say this that I can be the next Shethri, but uh, it's very, very kind of them to say that 
you know but uh, i don't think uh, that someone can be the next chetri because i think uh, it's a bit unfair and the the work he has done for the country you know he has scored so many goals and he has given so much for the country i don't think uh, it's very easy to do that uh, but uh, i think uh, being a youngster and being a footballer i would always uh, hope and i always aim to make sure that i reach that level and give my best to the country and i don't know maybe one day i try to reach that record where sunil bhai is there right now so yeah and and that takes some getting farooq and there was a question from abhinav singh 992 i think it came on uh, twitter abhinav kumar singh who said i've been watching you since last two years and a lot of people from uh, mumbai who've been you know joining us on this conversation as well and saying all kinds of nice kind things to you uh, he says abhinav says i've been watching you last two years i'm a big fan of yours but he says i i often get disappointed to see your finishing skills it needs to be improved immediately how are you planning uh, to to improve it i mean there's i mean there's bound to be a little bit of criticism here and there because you're still looking for your first national team goal as we speak yes yes i'm working on it i've been working on it because i know where i'm lacking you know uh, and the coaches have been helping me and uh, i i think it's just a matter of time uh, i get my next chance i'll make sure that i give my best and score start scoring goals so i'm look i'm looking for forward for the next game but uh, who i don't know the name abhinav you said right abhinav singh his yeah. name yeah abhinav singh yeah thank you thank you so much uh, for the correction yes i am working on it and uh, i'll make sure that i give my best and hopefully uh, make you proud too somebody just said they're looking for their first mumbai city fc goal uh, from you as well but we won't touch upon that we <laughs> i think you need to tell them which club you're playing for but they obviously want you to yeah, sign yeah. for mumbai in some capacity or the other since you are a mumbai boy uh, huh. but just I, i think there was a question from uh, the lost legend i think it slipped by as i was i was hearing you talk uh, and he was asking who's your best friend in uh, best? you know in football who's your best friend in football best friend best friend oh there are many <laughs> Don't worry. You heard a few, heard a few people, but but give us one name if you can. Oh, you want Indian or uh, foreigner? Both. Why not both? There was a question from Noman Abdullah who said, "Who is your favorite player from Jamshedpur FC?" Have you already answered that with Tiri and uh, Memo? Yeah. So maybe you can name Tiri as your best foreign friend, or yeah, Memo yeah. as your best foreign friend, yeah, and uh, give us an Indian name. Tiri and Memo, best. Uh, I mean, best friends from foreign and Indian. I think uh, there are. there also there are two uh, one is obviously uh, karan bhai because we have been there from the beginning in jamshedpur so we have been together since 3 years sharing room together so the bond yeah. is very good and other than that uh, mubashir and this year aniket also so i would say karan bhai only because been sharing room together and there was a question from wild play i think it just it just came up as uh, as we were talking and he said who's your football who's your footballing inspiration any player who's been who's inspired you the most as when you took to the game yeah when i started the game it was only one ronaldinho all right and uh, currently is there an idol nare matthews asking who's your idol is it still <laughs> ronaldinho or you've got a few more yeah now it says i look up to the way neymar plays neymar i would say neymar and if there were to be uh, you know an inspiration in the in indian football in indian football uh, yeah uh, in indian football uh, sir yes i look up to two three players obviously one is uh, mr sunil chetri the way he makes those moments to score goals and yeah. other than him uh, i watch uh, susai raj the way he dribbles you know is really good at it and uh, changte so there are two three of them who i really look up to the way they work on the pitch yeah look the chennai fans might not be very happy with you after that handball but after taking susai raj's name i'm sure they'll be a little happier now 
yeah. even though he plays for uh, ATK. But there's a question from KJK0515 who says, I've been following you since your entry to Indian national team and uh, ISL. It seems you've improved and moved from a winger to becoming a striker. Which position of the two do you prefer, Faru? Yeah, I would prefer to play as a striker any day. But uh, you know when you are playing in ISL, they already yeah. have a big guy from foreign. Uh, yeah. So the coach won't play you as a striker over him, obviously, because it, that guy is going to help the team more, being there, hold the ball. For example, Castel. Castel can fight better than me uh, because you know how he is. He's a beast. Uh, and I could be more useful on the wings, I think. So, right. However the coach likes, you have to give your best there. And we got to mention the fans as well. I mean, the, the Manyapada, was, you know, they, they sang for you when you were playing for Kerala Blasters. You know, they, they've still been joining us on this conversation. Kashi underscore up had a question. A word for, not a question, he had a comment. Or she had a comment. I'm not sure if it is a he or a she. I think Kashi up. Uh, had a question about the red miners. A word for the red miners, Farooq. Uh, two words. Amazing. And they are very consistent. Consistent. Because I think we lost few games and we were not doing good enough. But uh, yeah. the support was always there. Always there. Till the end. So that's really amazing. Yeah, fantastic. They, they fill up the stands over there. There's, there's no doubt about that. And uh, let, me, let me just ask you a quick couple of questions as well. Now, you've got the most shots, most shots on target, and you've got the most chances created in uh, Jamshedpur FC's history. Now, you've been with them for uh, three seasons of the ISL, right from 2017-18 till now. Yeah. Uh, how many chances in total have you created for uh, Jamshedpur FC since you've got the record? Difficult question. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you some trivia early on, so don't don't tell me I didn't warn you earlier. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I didn't expect this. Uh, okay, give us give us a range. How many how many chances do you think you would have created? So I'll give you a hint. Only this uh, season or all the three seasons? You chances uh, this season for an Indian player. You've got the most chances created in Jamshedpur FC's history. So would that be? 20 to 25, 25 to 30, or 30 to 35? Uh, okay, I would go for uh, 20 to 25. At least See, that's, that's why you're humble. I would have because... done that first. <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah. you, you reached 20, you reached 26. So you, you're doing better than your prediction. So well oh, done, Faro. Wow. Uh, great. That's, that's great. right. Now, uh, you spoke about Subrata Paul, who I'm sure is, you know, is the Indian with the maximum number of appearances for, uh, uh, Jamshedpur FC in the Hero ISL. Uh, you've got the most appearances for an Indian outfield player in Jamshedpur history. How many are they? Appearances. Yeah, okay. that includes starting okay. and coming off the bench. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. 43. 42 or 43? Close. But again, see, you, you've been uh, erring on the side of caution because it's 44. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's 44. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and if I were to ask you, uh, you know, your, if I were to ask you, say, your, your best five players that you, that you played alongside or that you, would, that you would love to play in, if you were to pick a five-a-side team, Farooq, what would that be in Indian football? In Indian football. Yeah. So, okay, so in the goalpost, uh, Subrata Vai, because obviously because I've played with him for three seasons. Uh, defender okay. would be Raul VK. And uh, okay. the other one, I'll take uh, Pratik Chaudhary. And, uh, okay, two defenders. And now midfielder, Renia Fernandez. And can I play in my fire side? I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's an all Mumbai team apart from Subrata Paul. I yeah. can see where you're going with this. <laughs> because, because we have played together, so that's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, okay. fair so this this was the Mumbai team. I would say if if I talk about yeah. the let's talk about the Indian team. So I would uh, from the Indian team, I would take uh, 
the goalkeeper gurpreet bhai because he is playing right now currently and uh, then sandeep shingen and uh, yeah. next to him i would take uh, anas bhai and uh, okay uh, midfielder uh, sunil chetri and striker me <laughs> I think I'm going to let you know him. that you put him, yeah, that you put him just yeah. behind yourself, which is, <laughs> which is, which is interesting. Okay, uh, and and just you know, just to finish this off, Farooq, I I want to know because you've had such a great journey as well. You know, your your message to all the younger younger footballers who are taking up the sport. Let's remind them once again that you went from being you know a sprinter to a centre back who could score or a defender who could score. to now you know playing you you know playing as a forward for the national team and for uh, jamshedpur your, your message to some of the younger players you know or younger kids trying to take up football yeah the the first thing is that uh, don't stop loving the game you know the the day you start loving this game it only uh, increases it doesn't stop and uh, always believe in yourself keep doing the hard work and uh, make sure that you are consistent in your hard work and make sure no matter whatever circumstance you are facing you got to believe yourself and uh, make sure that you have have that aim to reach your goals and one day with all this hard work and belief you are going to reach there no matter what but if you don't believe in yourself and no one else is going to fantastic farooq i think that's the perfect note to end this on right from you and i having the almost same hairstyle today uh, this evening in uh, mumbai to you telling us yeah. about your journey from diamonds and fatima to you know mumbai and pune all the way from kerala to jamshedpur and the national team uh, talking about some of your best friends uh, some of the inspirations and your idols it's been a it's been a great chat and uh, we wish you all the best for the national team and uh, you know for the next season of the hero isl keep shining bright my friend thank you thank you so much uh, here to be there with you thank you so much for having me and it's it's been a great chat thank you so much and i'm looking forward to see you again if not on instagram maybe uh, on the live show on star sport maybe who knows so i'm looking forward to that until then i'll see you soon dandil farooq stay safe yeah. stay stay safe farooq see you soon bye bye you too you too you too bye all right guys thank you so much for joining us uh, in this fourth episode of let's football live a lot of fun with uh, an upcoming uh, you know bright prospect in uh, farooq choudhury what a great uh, first half of the isl season in uh, particular and we look forward to bigger better brighter things uh, going forward uh, from him Don't forget to join us on the next episode. So far, we've had Sandeep Jingan, Eric Pachudu, Elko Shatori, and now Farooq Chaudhary from uh, uh, Mumbai. And we'll be bringing you more such guests in uh, further editions of Let's Football Live. But until the next one, stay safe, stay at home, and uh, we'll see you very shortly. Bye bye.